so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so today's video we are going to talk about how we can create and how we can model children chair in blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and this tutorial will be totally for a beginner because in this video we'll just use some basic tips and tricks and we'll just create off the fabulous and very cute chair for a children so now let's start a tutorial and before starting the tutorial guys i just want to open my shortcut via so you guys easily can see which key i'm pressing on the left hand side so now let's start it tutorial so for creating this chair i will just use this default cube so first of all i'm just gonna scale this cube something like that i think that much scale is look nice to me okay and after doing this scale make sure you apply this scale every time because if you not apply this scale so maybe that modifier and some feature will be not work nicely with this cube so whenever you find something uh, not working properly so make sure you apply this scale first of all okay so maybe your problem will be solved 90 percent okay so after doing this scale that's something like that okay so first of all i'm just going to add one uh, bevel modifier into this part basically and i'm just going to decrease the amount of this i think i will just take a 0 0.2 and i will just increase this segment something like that and i will just do right click do shade smooth and that looks something like that we have a uh, curvy uh, edges here and which is look nice i think we can just decrease one more time and after that i will just add one cylinder here pressing the shift a and uh, then i'm just gonna scale this cylinder from the my top view something like that yeah i think that much scale is look nice to me right now okay and i'm just gonna keep this cylinder uh here by the way okay on the corner of this cube something like that and then i'm just gonna my front view and i will just move it little bit down something like that and we can just scale a little bit yeah because we are creating a children chair so that leg will be also little basically okay and i'm just gonna apply the scale first of all then i'm just gonna edit mode of the cylinder i'm just gonna select this bottom face so after that i'm just gonna do e for extrude i'm just gonna extrude on a z axis and then i'm just gonna do scale something like that and we'll just move this part a little bit up yeah so that looks something like that and which is look nice to me and we can do one more thing we'll just do right click do shade smooth and we'll also apply the auto smooth so we will get a perfect shading effect here and which is look nice by the way now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna uh, my bottom view and i will just to duplicate this part from the other side as well and we can do one more thing you can just use a mirror modifier and here you can see when i'm just gonna add the mirror modifier so it will ask which axis you want to mirror this object but right now that uh, origin point of this object is already center of the same object so we will not see any kind of mirror happening here here you can see but how we can see by the way so we have to just change the mirror object so we'll just choose the mirror object as a a cube so now here you can see we have a perfect full leg here and now if you want to edit anything so you can just edit here and that edit will be affect on the four part as well yeah so cool here you can see we have a four legs and we did nicely work here now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna create a back part of this uh, chair basically so for that i'm just gonna add one plane here i'm just gonna my front view and here i will just uh, change the align as a view and i'm just gonna scale this uh, plane something like that and something like that as well i think that must is look nice to me i'm just gonna keep it here by the way i will just go to my top view i will just keep it here i think that's look nice and we can just to move here by the way and i think we should do a little scale yeah i think that much scale is look nice we can also scale it okay and after doing the scale make sure you apply the scale every time because if you not apply the scale so maybe you will be in trouble so make sure whenever do you scale apply the scale okay all right so after that i'm just gonna move it a little bit upside something like that and then i'm just gonna extrude this part something like that okay and now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add the array modifier into this part we'll just uh, increase little factor value and we'll just do one more copy okay so now here you can see you can just do a little bit downside we can do a little inside and we can just put it here okay if you want to increase the factor value so that will look something like that i think that's so great yeah i think it's almost center of this cube yeah that's great all right so here you can that's look nice to me now after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna again add the one plane so after adding the plane i'm just gonna change the line as a view i'll just move it a little bit upside and i'm just gonna scale it again this time this plane something like that I think that much scale is not nice to me okay and as i told you whenever you do scale make sure you apply the scale pressing the control a something like that so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna edit mode of this part i'm just gonna select these two bottom vertices do a little bit of scale something like that and i'm just gonna do a little bit down this face yeah something like that i think that's look nice and after doing the scale make sure you go again the edit mode of this part do extrude it something like that 
and now i'm just gonna keep it here by the way yeah i think that's so nice so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna enable my x-ray view and make sure these parts should be little outside from these pillar by the way yeah i think that's so nice and after doing this you can just select the four side of these edges basically corner edges dang it yeah these edges something like that and after that you can just do bevel control b you can just do bevel and if you want to add more segment in between these bevel so you can just scroll your mouse and you will get a more bevel yeah so i think that looks nice now after that you can what you can do you can just uh, scale it a little bit and apply the bevel first of all sorry apply the scale and you can just keep it here and now here you can see we have a perfect cute chair here and which is look nice we can just do one more thing which we do before by the way we should do something like that again yeah and that's look great you can just do a little bit upside yeah all right guys so here you can see we have that kind of chair here which is look nice we can just add a bevel modifier for the corner so i'm just gonna increase the little factor value we'll just increase the segment we'll just do right click shade smooth and we'll just add the auto smooth as well all right so here you can see guys our children chair modeling is complete and that look nice by the way okay and after that what you can do you can just add some material into this part and for adding the material you can just go to your material preview section and here you can just select your object and you can just go to your material properties here you can just add the red color directly yeah i think that color just look nice to me and after that you can just select all these objects something like that and at the last you have to just select that object where you add the material then you have to just press the control l and you have to just to make link as a material so that red material will be automatically um, copy from the other object as well and now here you can see we have a cute little children chair and that's look nice by the way all right guys and one more thing i just want to do what we have to do by the way we have to just bevel these corner also so we will get a nice curve here basically i'm just going to bevel control b and dang it here you can see now we have a perfect cute children chair and after one more thing you have to do it you have to just decrease the roughness value and when you decrease the roughness value you will see little glossiness into this chair and that's look nice by the way all right guys here you can see we have just created a very cute little chair here and that's look nice and after that you can just add light onto your scene and you can just take a render and when you take a render it will look something like that so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button and the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys